So back to where I started. I have my notes here and I just wanted to talk to you after I write this essay, this research paper for my philosophy class and I have these two opposing views that I would like to discuss with you guys and maybe maybe get some ideas thrown my way, you know, where I can start, where I can go from. So okay, there's two theories about concrete things, like things that exist, like for example this plate, you know, or my shirt, or this room. There's there's two theories about them. There's one theory that there's one theory called the bundle theory, and then there's another theory called the substratum theory. So the bun bundle theory, or the substratum theory, I'll start from there because it's a little bit easier. It holds that each thing that there is, for example, these sunglasses, they have certain attributes, like for example, they're heart-shaped, or they're red, or they're, um, they're dirty, no, that's a bad one, or just simple things like that. They're heart shaped, they're sunglasses, and they're red. So those are the three qualities that these things have. And the substratum theory believes that these three qualities are held by something, are held by something. So something has these qualities. And, and then you'd probably think, well, that's not true. I mean, those things are the qualities. I mean, sunglasses, these are red, these are, it's not like something that has the these certain qualities. Um, but the substratum theory states that there is some sort of substratum, some underlying more complex um, entity that holds these three qualities, redness, sunglasses-ness, and heart-shapedness. So these qualities are possessed by this sub this thing. So that's the substratum theory, and that is more along to do with animals and you know humans and living things. For example, the substratum, the living thing, would be the soul. You know, the soul possesses the human body. The soul possesses these qualities. The soul is the core, the main thing that has all these other things. So that's the substratum theory, and. Um, I don't really believe that theory. I don't know. I'm more of a... I'm not really a dualist, so... Yeah, I'm more of a empiricist. <laughs> so anyways, and the second theory is the one that I'm kinda... I'm kinda, you know, that's what the one that I believe is the bundle theory. And that theory hold, says that um, there's no certain thing that has these qualities. These qualities, like redness, heart shapeness, sunglassesness, just all bundle up together, complex in the weave. And when you get the, when you put them all together, they form these sunglasses. There's no there's no deeper underlying thing that has these qualities, but these qualities are just a jumble of jumble of things that that are. I mean, that's 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 the only way to state them. So basically, what you see is what you get. There's no underlying, you know, sensory thing or yeah um so what do you guys think do you first of all do you understand this second of all what is your opinion are there any criticisms or objections or do you agree so i would like to hear this from you guys and yeah let me know peace that was lame <laughs>